In our last episode, the futuristic renegade Roxy Rubicon, trapped in the year 2010, discovers a time-traveling energy vortex inside a dollar store. With the help of a whoopee cushion, she opens up the vortex and begins her return back to the year 2050. Okay, Asina. Here we go. Everything's so grainy and pixelated. Roxy. I'm detecting the entrance back to the year 2050 is straight ahead, but we must act quickly. Okay, let's go! Hold it wait there! Hey, you're the security goon from Goldman Crops Corporation. I kicked your ass last time we met. Buckle up, Stomper! Bring it on, Rubicon! Ha! 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 What is this place, anyway? It's the place between here and there. The door back to 2050 is right behind me. Well, you better get out of my way, cause I'm going back. I've had it with these people in 2010. Systems are collapsing, and they're in total denial. They're hypnotized, staring at screens, and wrapping themselves up in snaggies. What are you wearing? Why, it's a designer zebra snuggie. They're texting and twittering. What's twittering? I don't know. They don't even know. But I want back in 2050. The people of 2010 are living in a finite world where all their resources are just about to dry up. And all they can do is come up with trendy greenwashing solutions that simply won't work. So out of my way, Stomper. Look, Roxy, you can't go back. I'm warning you, Stomper. It's about to get real ugly up in this joint. I, I, I shouldn't be telling you this, but well, you're the only one that can, can let the people of 2010 know about... Uh, about... Mm, about what? About... about, about uh, about what? About... About what? Oh, about cold fusion. Oh, oh there I said it. Oh, but don't tell anyone. I could get in big trouble by my superiors. Ha! I knew it. This is what Seymour was trying to tell me. I have some news you may be interested in. It has to do with... Cold fusion. Those scientists working in isolation for all those years really did have the answer. And the Goldman Crops Corporation knew it was real. That's why they created this time portal to ensure the truth about a real alternative energy is suppressed far into the future. Oh, I don't want to return to 2010, but I guess I have to. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, Waxy. What? I'm going back, all right? Yeah, I, I, I know, but, but you're going to have to kick my ass all over again. I, I can't go back into 2050 without looking like I didn't put up a fight trying to capture you. 
So bring it on, Rubicon! Stay tuned for the next episode of Roxy Rubicon, where Roxy goes back to the year 2010 to inform the clueless populace that cold fusion is indeed the real deal.